What is going on everybody? My name is Pete, but you probably already knew that. But in case you didn't, you guys are watching the one and only Paid to Drive. And of course, Pay to Drive Vlogs coming at you with another brand new video. I hope you're all doing great out there. So ladies and gentlemen, if you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you're in the right place to stay up to date with what is going on in the gig economy. So get started right now for free. Hit that red subscribe button down below. Turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And of course, hit that like button down below. It just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. And let's jump on into this. So just a quick disclaimer, like, 30 of you guys in the past 24 hours have sent me this. So to every single person who sent me this article and a variation of it, I'm very grateful and thankful for this. And also a big shout out to Michael from Delivery Driver Pit Stop for also bringing it to my attention. I appreciate it, bud. So I'm sure you guys have heard about this. I just wanted to give my take and my little explanation here. New York City, I live in New York, not in Manhattan, but I do live in New York. New York City passes bills offering protections to food delivery workers. Now, at first, this sounds like AB5 and Prop 22 in California. And in a way, it is. And this is clear to a point, but it also gets a smidge confusing. So take everything what I'm saying is with a grain of salt and you make up your mind for yourself whether you think these are good things, bad things, or kind of in the middle. So, let's see here. Lawmakers in New York City passed several bills that seek to improve working conditions and set minimum pay for food delivery workers for companies like Grubhub, DoorDash, and Uber Eats. The move makes New York City the first to pass sweeping legislation that regulates the delivery industry, which has come under increased scrutiny during the pandemic and in the aftermath of Hurricane Ida. Here are some of the protections in the bills that delivery services will need to abide by, so they have no choice but to follow these things. Drivers can set a maximum distance per trip that they travel. I like that. Food delivery apps can't charge couriers for payment of their wages and they have to pay delivery workers at least once a week. Now, when they say can't charge couriers for payment of their wages, are they talking about like the, the quick pay thing to get paid earlier? I was a little confused with that, so maybe someone in the chat or the comments can clear that up, but I like the part where they have to be paid per every, every week, at least once a week, which they've been doing anyway. Uh, drivers can choose not to accept trips over bridges or in tunnels. Love that. Don't have to deal with that in my market in particular, but in Manhattan, you do. Quite a few. Food delivery apps can't solicit a tip unless they disclose how much is paid to the delivery worker and whether or not it's available immediately or paid in cash. What I think that means is soliciting a tip from the, the customer, I'm guessing, right? They have to show the customer that we're only getting $3. So I guess the customer realizes, oh crap, I should probably tip on top of that, I think. So correct me if I'm wrong, but of course, please re be respectful. Apps have to credit gratuities to workers and notify how much was added and if a customer removed the tip and why. I like that. Applications have to inform the delivery worker of the total compensation including gratuities daily. I really like that. Food delivery services need to add a provision in contracts with restaurants that let couriers use bathrooms if the courier is picking up a delivery. I love that. I think this is a great thing, okay? One bill requires the Department of Consumer and Worker Protection to complete a study on food delivery workers and establish rules on the minimum payment required per trip. We recognize the unique challenges facing delivery workers in New York City and share the goal of identifying policies that will help dashers and workers like them, a DoorDash spokesperson said. We will continue to work with all stakeholders, including the city council, to identify ways to support all delivery workers in New York City without unintended consequences. Grubhub said it supports the bill. So obviously Grubhub is okay with these things. These bills are common sense steps to support the delivery workers 
who work hard every day for New York's restaurants and residents. Grubhub spokesperson Grant Klinsman told CNBC, ensuring they receive a living wage and have access to restrooms isn't just a good idea, it's the right thing to do, which I agree with. Lawmakers in other states have also tried to protect gig workers and customers. Last month, a California court ruled that Prop 22, a measure approved by a majority vote in November that exempted gig workers from state labor law, was unconstitutional. Prop 22 proposed that workers for app-based food delivery and ride-sharing companies should remain contractors and be entitled to certain benefits and protections like minimum earnings. Uh, in August, Chicago filed suits against DoorDash and Grubhub for allegedly using unfair business practices and deceiving customers. Both companies called the suits, uh, suits baseless. Meanwhile, Uber, DoorDash, and Grubhub recently sued New York City over a bill that limits how much the companies can charge restaurants. In July, DoorDash and Grubhub sued San Francisco after the city introduced a permanent 15% delivery fee cap. And DoorDash filed a separate suit against New York City earlier this month over a law that requires delivery companies to share more customer data with restaurants. An Uber spokesperson was not immediately available for, con for comment. So, most of these things sound good, okay? It, based on this, maybe I'm just not getting it totally, but based on this, it, it doesn't sound exactly like Prop 22 where it would like treat drivers more like, you know, the employees and stuff like that. Um, this sounds like this is a step in the right direction. Okay. And again, it mentions New York City. I don't live in the boroughs, so I don't know if this is going to impact me directly because I am outside of that area. So we'll have to see what happens and I'll keep you guys updated. So just out of everybody watching in the chat or the comments, do you think these are all good things? Do you think they're bad things? Do you think they're kind of in the middle? What are your thoughts on that? Um, so yeah, let me know down below. If you guys ever want to send me anything for a video or have a question or a comment, email me is the best way to do it at paid to drive stories at gmail.com or for a quicker response, you can message me through Patreon at patreon.com forward slash paid to drive. Link is in the description down below or in the pinned top comment. And anyone who signs up, I give you guys shout outs in all my new videos. So when you hear your name called, uh, leave a comment and say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. Uh, we got the very generous Ari Rosenbaum, our $100 ultimate driver. Thank you so much, Ari. We've got the very generous Samantha Michaels, Brian Pomeroy, Brian Medina, Heidi Barnes, Ivan Jerome Gilroy, Joe Valerio, Angela Counts McCarty, Kurt Paul, Lee Peacock, Tulsa Todd, William Boudreaux, Laura Love, Agus, Tom Perry, Alan G. Van Horn, Lawrence Brown, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Haviland, Fresh One, Jason Casta, Justin Case, Lulu Laura, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Joyce Hine, Brian Richardson, Kenny Bess, Ginny Thomas, Candace Mitchell, John Bonacci, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Stacey Miller, Terrence Pacheco, and Valerie Brown. So huge shout outs to all of you. Sign up. Link is in the description of the pin top comment. And I hope all of you guys out there are saving money with the Get Upside Gas app. It's a free app for your smartphone that allows you to save money every time you pump gas. All right. Link is at the bottom of the description. You give that a click or a tap on your phone. It'll tell you how to download it for your particular smartphone. Any phone will work. You go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside Gas app, and within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Link's in the description. Make sure to download it. And of course, everybody, if you guys want one of these paid to drive police, T-shirts, you can get your own at paytodrivestore.com. Link is in the description or the pin top comment. We've got lots of different designs, colors, sizes, you name it. We probably have it. Get all your T-shirts, hoodies, and goodies at paytodrivestore.com. Link's down below. And of course, if you made it to the end of this video, I'm extremely grateful for you all. Leave a comment right now saying END602, END602. Just lets me know you made it to the end. Don't forget to subscribe with all notifications turned on for free. Turn on that notification notification bell, set it to all so you're always notified when I post something new. And of course, hit that like down below. 
just lets you know, just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. So until next time, get that money, get that honey, keep hustling and keep bustling. And we'll see you next time right here on Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Vlogs. And as always, drive safe, be well, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace, everybody.